Welcome to another episode of Home Tech Decisions. Have you ever wondered what the best Echo device is? Well, why don't we just ask Alexa and find out. Alexa, what is the best Echo device? Hmm, I don't know. Why don't you keep watching this video and decide for yourself? Hmm, well let's do that. <laughs> all joking aside, all I did to set that up was make a blueprint. And I just programmed her to say that. So, um, if you watch our previous videos, you know we've already covered the dots, uh, the echo devices, as well as the show. Uh, and so this episode, we want to narrow things down for you and really focus in on what device is best for you. Uh, so this is every echo ever created. Uh, I think we're missing the first generation dot and I think I'm pretty sure that's it as far as devices that have uh, screen or have you know that are speakers and everything so that are full featured I should say. Uh, so over here we have the Echo Flex. Uh, this device is great if you're going to put it in like your kitchen or a bathroom uh, but not really good for music or anything like that. It does have a line out on there and then you can put different modules in the bottom uh, like a motion detector. Uh, so this is a neat little device. It does retail for around $17. Uh, and then we get into the dots. Uh, we'll eliminate the older generation dot here for you and focus in on these two. So this is a generation three dot. Uh, benefit with these over the older versions is that it has a different look to it. You can get different um, cloth and then it has far field voice so it's better at picking up um, your voice uh, over uh, when there's like other things playing. Uh, so and that has two versions available the standard as well as a version with the alarm clock uh, which my wife really likes. And so when you purchase a dot uh, they retail for about $50. I was able to get these guys on sale they paid $35 for this one and uh, maybe $30 for this one. We'll put links in the description below. Uh, whenever you're looking at buying an Amazon device, an Echo, I definitely recommend buying on like Black Friday or Prime Day. Uh, there's usually some sales going on. I got a few of these devices on sale and they were, came with a free uh, Philips Hue bulb. Uh, so watch for that. Uh, then we get into the show. Uh, so the Echo Show, it's all these ones here with screens, as well as the Spot. Now the Spot was actually originally designed uh, as something for your bedroom. And so this would be like something you put on your nightstand. And it's got a little bit of a screen there, plays music. Um, but uh, the issue with this is that it doesn't have a privacy screen for the camera. And it's got this weird circular screen, which is kind of odd. And honestly, the audio isn't very good, so I wouldn't use this for like playing music. It's kind of like a glorified alarm clock. I was able to get this on sale for about $90. I'm not sure about the retail off the top of my head, but we'll add that in post edit and we'll put links in the description below as well. But really, at this point, this uh, device is pretty much irrelevant because you could get the Show 5 for the same price and it's just a superior product all around. And so really this device has kind of been replaced by the Echo Show Dot with the alarm clock feature on it and then the Show 5 because the Show 5 has the privacy feature uh, there for the uh, camera. It's got a little bit larger screen, rectangle, uh, would be good to put on your bedside uh, there. So we'll eliminate the spot right away. All right, and then looking at all these shows, uh, if you've watched our previous episode, you'll know that we basically have the Goldilocks thing going on here, uh, small, medium, large, and a lot of people are going to find that they really like uh, the medium size, show eight, eight inches across, does have the privacy screen. Uh, one benefit to the, the, the show second generation here is that it does have a uh, Zigbee built in so it can be used as as a home hub itself otherwise if you already have a different hub or you have like an Echo Plus 
and you don't need that, well then you might as well just go with the 8. Uh, this is our preferred show hub. We have this here in our kitchen actually. Um, and this was uh, the device that we had replaced. This is our original Gen 1 uh, show. It served us very well. It's got a little dust on there. We'll wipe that off. Uh, and then eliminate that. So we're really focusing on products that are available right now, current generation. And trying to narrow things down for you. And of course I should say that uh, we have had comments in previous videos when we did like the uh, Ring versus Nest comparison uh, that a lot of people said, you know, you really didn't give us an answer. You didn't say which one was better. Well, there really isn't one best. You know, we're trying to give you advice about what the differences are and what scenarios you might want to use each product. And then really you are the decision maker. So just take this information and then do with it as you please. So moving on to the Echo devices, the standard Echoes. We've got four of them here, starting with Gen 1. This guy has served us very well. Uh, so the original form is a little bit taller, then they got shorter. And uh, so the first one has the slider on the top, uh, just two buttons. Uh, whereas the newer generations do have four buttons. And so the sound quality gets better. Uh, the new Gen 3s all have the far field uh, voice, which is a great feature. And uh, this is the Gen 2. Gen 2 was cool because you could take a, pop this out here, comes apart, and you can change this out for different colors, which was kind of a cool feature, but they've, they've done away with that. I was able to get this one as a refurbished unit on Amazon uh, just to shoot this video. But for the price that you pay for this version, I think I paid $89, something close to that, you could actually get uh, either the Echo or the Echo Plus uh, for the same price. So we're going to eliminate that. So now we've got the Echo and the Echo Plus. They look identical, right? Uh, the only difference here is actually that the Echo Plus has Zigbee built inside. Uh, so if you don't have a, a smart home hub like uh, SmartThings or Hubitat, you could actually use this as your home hub. And so it'll be able to connect to uh, light bulbs, uh, switches, things like that. And really the only way to tell the difference is to look at the bottom and it says it has a little Zigbee on there, a little logo. Otherwise I could switch these two and you would have no idea. Uh, so both of these are, are great speakers. And then for those of you that are uh, looking for a full bl uh, blown speaker setup, uh, definitely look at the Echo Studio. Uh, so the sound quality on this by far exceeds all of the others. Um, really great product. It does three, uh, 360 sound, so it's just broadcasts all around. And so the Echo Plus actually has both line in and out. In the back here, you just change which mode it, it goes into. So uh, that's pretty cool. So of the devices, now we've got it narrowed down. We've got on the low end, we've got the Flex. Uh, which is good for certain scenarios. We've got the dot, which is good for like, extra rooms, maybe an office, uh, uh, bedside. We've got our show. This is something you would put in like your kitchen, possibly office or bedroom. And then we've got our echoes, uh, which I believe it's a $20 difference in price. At least it was when it was on sale uh, between the regular and the plus. So if you want to use it as your home hub, certainly go for the plus. Otherwise, if you don't care, uh, just the regular version is fine. And then if you really want to focus on sound quality, you have a very large room, you want to fill that up, uh, look at the Echo Studio. So, as you've seen in our previous videos, and we'll put links below, uh, we did do energy tests on each of these devices to see how much energy it draws uh, when it's not on at, versus when it's at 50%, 70%, or 100% volume and then we looked at uh, the decibels as well to see how uh, how loud they are and so obviously the more expensive unit the studio here uh, is very loud room filling audio whereas something like the flex you know it's not very loud it's basically good for like 
um, getting answers to questions and things like that. And so if all that wasn't enough for you guys, I'm gonna throw a wrench in the whole situation. Boom, Sonos Move, best speaker of all time, has uh, Alexa built in. Oh, she's listening, watch yourself. Sorry, I'm not sure about she's that. She's not even sure. As well as Google. Uh, this is the move. It's awesome. You can uh, leave it on a space station or take it with you go outside uh, We absolutely love it uh, But so voice assistants are actually built into another a lot of different products. So uh, Sonos has a great lot of products Bose makes some sound bars as well Ecobee has it built into their thermostats. Uh, we have ours just muted because we already have other echo devices And so it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, And then you've got like the Ecobee switch that has it built in as well as well as the uh, brilliant control panel. Uh, we've featured that uh, in previous videos. It's a great device. Uh, so a lot of really good options here for you depending on what uh, you're gonna use it for, uh, ranging from least expensive, uh, most expensive, uh, shows in the middle here with the displays. Uh, so we hope that you found this video to be really helpful. Alexa, what should viewers do if they liked this video? Smash that like button and subscribe to Home Tech Decisions for more smart home tech videos every Tuesday and Thursday. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and we'll be sure to respond. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you liked this video. Uh, links to the uh, products below as well as the videos where we go in depth on the dot, the sh echo, and the show for the last three weeks. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.